Dinosaur with the Canadian Museum of Nature. We're here in the Ultimate Dinosaurs Exhibition, which is an amazing show featuring extraordinary dinosaurs from the Southern Hemisphere. And here with me is our dinosaur expert, Jordan Mallon. Jordan is going to treat us to one of the most fearsome dinosaurs on display. Come on with me. So this is Giganotosaurus, the apex predator of South America 95 million years ago. Wow, he's really ferocious looking. So tell me, could he have beaten T-Rex in a fight? Well, Giganotosaurus never would have met T-Rex. Uh, it lived in South America about 30 million years before T-Rex, which uh, lived in North America. Um, but if we want to sort of play that scenario in our mind, there's a few um, features we might want to consider in order to figure out who would win in a fight. If we look at the skull of Giganotosaurus, we can see that it's a, a little bit longer than that of T-Rex, and it contains many more teeth, which are actually quite slender and would have been used for slashing meat, bolts of meat off its prey. If you look further back down the neck and towards the arms, you can see that Giganotosaurus had very large, powerful arms that ended in three claws, and those claws were sharp and recurved for latching on to prey. Giganotosaurus is also a little bit longer than T-Rex on the whole, so it had a certain size advantage that it might have uh, used in order to overcome its competitor T-Rex. This is the skull of Tyrannosaurus rex. I mentioned earlier that Giganotosaurus was longer than T-Rex, but in fact T-Rex would have been a bit heavier than Giganotosaurus. It had more mass, and so that would certainly be an advantage um, in trying to, uh, you know, pull down your prey. Uh, the other thing to consider about T-Rex is, although its skull isn't quite as long, it's much more heavily built, and really was built to withstand high bite forces that it exerted when it was bolting down onto its prey. The other thing to consider is the teeth. Uh, T-Rex had very stout, very conical teeth, and we know that those were used for crushing bone. So if you look at the fossilized feces of a T-Rex, they're full of bits of bone. And so that's evidence that T-Rex was really mauling its victims. It was, it was pulverizing the bone. Uh, and, and if you compare that to the teeth of, of Giganotosaurus, that animal was not crushing bone. It was, it was taking off little bits of flesh. So now, who would have won, T-Rex or Giganotosaurus? Well, I, I hope I've given you some food for thought as far as weighing the pros and the cons of, of who would have won, but I'd encourage everyone to come on down for themselves and to compare these two animals side by side and make up their own mind.